And we have new results in tonight in three close congressional district races. The Oregonian is now projecting that Republican Lori Chavez de Reamer will be the winner in Oregon's 5th district. Let's bring in Evan Watson now. That seat has been held by a Democrat, Kurt Schrader, for over a decade, and now it's flipping from blue to red. Yeah, absolutely, Pat. And flipping that seat is a big gain for Republicans hoping to gain control of the House of Representatives. As it stands, Chavez de Reamer leads by about... 7,000 votes. She released a statement today saying she is humbled and grateful for the support and said her projected win shows Oregon families wanted a congresswoman to tackle inflation and keep them safe. McLeod Skinner, on the other hand, said this afternoon that it's still too soon to call this race with the number of outstanding ballots. In the new 6th Congressional District, there, Andrea Salinas leads by about 4,000 votes, a little under 2%. That lead has narrowed over the past two days. Clackamas County results will have a role to play in both the 5th and 6th districts. However, Clackamas County election workers are only verifying signatures on ballots today, not posting results. So we're going to have to wait until 6 p.m. tomorrow, on Saturday, yes, for an update from Clackamas in both of these races. And in Washington's 3rd Congressional District, Marie Glusenkamp Perez still holds on to her narrow lead of about 5,000 votes at the moment. Now, Clark County plans to share the results of about 20,000 ballots any minute now. Clark County has the majority of the outstanding votes in this race, close to 45,000 ballots left in all. Marie Glusenkamp Perez's lead has effectively been cut in half from election night from about 10 or 11,000 votes now down to about 5,000. Cowlitz County added the results of 5,000 votes this afternoon, which favored Kent, but Cowlitz only has about 2,000 ballots left to go. So both candidates are waiting to see how these final votes are split. Uh, it's fascinating to watch all this come down to the last minute here. Do you have a sense of which candidate is favored and the results still to come? Yeah, Marie Glusenkamp Perez is winning in Clark County. She's received 56% of those votes to this point. But I should say in yesterday's 25,000 vote update, it was essentially even between her and Joe Kent. And for context here, some Republican candidates in Clark County did encourage their supporters to wait until Election Day to return their ballots. So we're going to see tonight any minute now if the results continue to shift in Kent's favor or if they hold or maintain where they're at. Kent's going to need to win the remaining Clark County votes to win this race. OK, we'll be watching. Thank you, Evan.